Welcome to the homework for Lesson 20, Grade 2, Module 3. Write your name here first. Don't want to turn in your homework with no name on it. You won't get any credit for it. Fill in the blanks, and we're whispering the complete sentence. So, same thing as the Lesson 19 homework. Really, this is a, ch a chance to practice saying some of these large numbers out loud and reading some of these large numbers out loud. And you don't get a lot of chances to practice that. You really should take that because that's... Don't skip saying these things out loud because it really makes a difference when you practice it. 1 less than 160 is 159. 10 more than 392 is... 402. 100 less than 425 is 325. And 1 more than 549 is 550. 10 more than 691 is 701. 10 more than 694 is 704. 100 less than 1086 is 986. 10 less than 825 is 815. And then here's some practice counting out loud. It says to count out loud to a parent. You can count out loud to anybody. You could count out loud to your pet rock. Whatever you got. But it really it really matters to have the to use the chance to say the numbers out loud. Count by ones from 204 to 212. 204, 205, 206, 207, 208, 209, 210, 211, 212. Now here it doesn't say that you have to write the numbers down. Your teacher might say that you have to. But um, I'm going to write them down anyway because I think it might help you if you're reading them, if you're going to read the numbers out loud. Skip count by tens from 376 to 436. So we've got 376, 386, 396, 406. 416, 426, 436. Then we're skip counting by tens from 582 to 632. 582, 592, 602, 612, 622, 632. Then we're skip counting by hundreds from 908 to 8. We're going backwards by hundreds. 908, 808, 708, 608, 508, 408, 308, 208, 108, and 8. Don't say these 908, 808. Say the 100. Say the, say the, the, the name properly. We're not just reading the digits. We're reading the number. So it's not 908, it's 908. It's not 808, it's 808. 
Henry enjoys watching his pet frog hop. The hop isn't the name of his pet frog. That's what his pet frog does, and he likes watching his pet frog do it. Each time his frog hops, Henry skip counts backward by hundreds. Henry starts his first count at 815. How many times does his frog have to jump to get to, to 15? So, and it says, explain your thinking below. So we're going to have an answer here, right? Our answer statement is going to go right, is going to go right in this space here. I just marked everything up and this is what I'm trying to say here. That's where our answer statement is going to go. And it says, explain your thinking below. So down here, here is where I'm going to explain. I'm going to show how I figured it out. So his first count is 815. And he starts his first count at 815, and then his frog hops. 715. Now keep in mind that this 815, that's not a hop. It's a number. This is a hop, right? That's a hop. 715. Then we have 615. Remember, we're counting hops, not numbers. 515. 415. 315. 215. 115. And 15. So how many hops was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we want to know. The question is, how many times does this frog have to jump? And the answer should be, his frog has to jump. Or Henry's frog, right? Henry's frog. His frog must jump, not jump. <laughs> it should be jump. Oops. Well, that's what erasers are for. Jump. Let's make that finish that T there. Okay. His frog must jump eight times. And there's my thinking right there. It's explained in this sort of number line if I wanted to I could draw a number line underneath it but I don't even have to have a number line <laughs>